Hi guys, I'm going to go through a brief rundown of the flat terrain Unity asset on the Unity asset store. Now to get started you're going to want to firstly um, go ahead and add a terrain uh, element into your tree. So here you've got just your plain old Unity default terrain. Um, I've just set up a directional light and camera at a specific angle. So usually when I'm working with terrain and trying to get a low poly feel I will change the height map resolution to around 32 um, just for the default thing. If you're using with uh, bigger bigger maps you want to up that resolution. So I'm just going to add a little um, hill. Uh, so just basic just using the normal brushes just raise the height a little bit and then add a green texture and then we get our hill uh, just in two seconds but uh, but that's not particularly low poly it's just very smooth uh, using the standard shader so we add the flat terrain script and let it pop in there we go and already you can see that it's you can the faces are more visible um, if you just like increase the base map distance it'll it'll use the shader more often. You can adjust that to switch to the fallback shader or the normal shader. So I like to usually just, when I, to really show off the faces, I like to add a bit of noise to my terrain. So just like go around and like lower a little bit, just like get a nice and jaggy so it really really shows off um, that kind of low polyness. And then kind of adjust heights a little bit. And this basically the workflow of uh, the asset, just kind of doing it what you're feeling like if you're doing like valleys or hills or just maybe flat plains like sand desert, it works for all that sort of stuff. And so just kind of go around and add your, just add what you want. Yeah, and this looks pretty good for our purposes. Again, this is just a brief demo on. Uh, how to do it. So now we're just going to add some, paint some different textures. So I want to paint paint the mountains uh, black. <laughs> it calls it a grey, but it's more really more of a brown. So just get that kind of different, differing colors. So just go ahead and just paint it down. Just paint, paint, paint. Um, I find it's just easier to just lock to the angles uh, using an orthogonal editor camera, and just go around and just paint your sides. Go around, easy peasy, and already like it's more looking already looking more like uh, mountains than just this blob of green, and you're still getting that nice kind of rim lighting uh, on the faces. It looks pretty nice and clean. It's still getting those flat faces, and uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, and then we'll just add at the very top a snowy ice cap. Just a couple of dabs, and there we go. That's it. So, and you're pretty much just limited to uh, to your kind of creative, to your uh, imagination. Um, that took me like five, like a minute to do. Um, and if you see if you can switch off uh, rim lighting, it and you can adjust those to like what suits you. Maybe you're looking for a darker feel, like if you're going for.